And we are joined now in the studio by Dr. Suzanne Fenton. She's doing some extensive work in the field of reproductive endocrinology for the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you Such an interesting much. topic for me as a woman, and I'm sure for so many. And I have to ask, what are some of the contributing risk factor for HDP in women? Well, hypertensive diseases of pregnancy are not very well understood. So one of the biggest problems with the with that disease, with those diseases, is that they've really increased over the last 20 years. Like, they affect 10% of all pregnancies. So, you know, if there's 500 um, million <laughs> babies born in a year, 50 million of those births are affected. Um, it affects a lot of women. So, why the increase? We're not sure. And that's a lot of the reasons that we're investigating environmental contributors to the disease. It's amazing that there is work being done here and it sounds like it's evolving. Mm -hmm. Who is affected uh, most and what are some of the disparities that need more research? Right, so environmental causes, environmental health disparities are not well understood. We only know of a couple chemicals that may contribute to it. Mm -hmm. But we do know that black women are more affected than white women. Why that is, is not clear exactly if it's uh, access to health care or if it's um, genetic, or if it's the fact that they're exposed to different environmental chemicals. But also we know that rural um, women, women who live in rural communities, are more affected than urban communities. And so again, environmental chemical exposure, or access to care, or um, unknowns. We're not sure. What are the tools that are going to help understand or predict HDP? Yeah, that's, we're going to talk about that in our session on okay. Thursday morning. Um, we're going to talk more about biomarkers that are being used to detect it earlier, um, biomarkers that are used to specifically identify chemical exposures that might lead to um, HDP. Um, so we're going to talk a lot about that. I mean, that's one of the major things that we'll discuss. We'll also discuss environmental health disparities further. Um, so we have several clinicians who will be speaking in our session, as well as people who are really looking through, digging in the literature deep to look at how biomarkers in people can be used in toxicological studies to better understand those chemical uh, contributors. Thank you so much for this important work that you're doing. Really, really appreciate yeah. your time here. You're Good luck on your Thursday lecture. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Suzanne Fenton with yep. the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.